you guys are going through a stretch like you are, how do you discern what's just part of a slump, part of the natural flow of a season, and what maybe needs to be addressed? Yeah, I think, you know, the things, the conversations we're having with the guys is, uh, you know, the positive part of it is, is I think in the last five games, um, I think we've led in every game and we've scored first in every game. <laughs> you know, so that's the good and the bad of it, right? You know, when we're when we're finishing those games off, um, what it has looked like uh, earlier in the season was we were either scoring to extend leads or we were stopping the other team from scoring in the middle innings. Um, and I know we've had a couple of games here recently come down to the last inning that's been um, you know pretty pretty tough to to handle, but. To me, um, a lot of that is, comes down to not scoring, you know, in the middle innings to, to push the lead to where you're not having to be quite as perfect in the late innings. So, yeah, I mean, I think there's some things that that will adjust, um, maybe just with some roles uh, on the staff. And um, I think the good news is is that um, on Tuesday we had quite a few guys that are leaving there feeling really positive about how they performed. Some guys that have been good for us that maybe had been scuffling. So. Um, that part of it, I think, will help solidify the middle innings, so let's hope, moving forward. Do some of those role changes, uh, is, is that in the rotation at all, or is that just reflected in the bullpen? Well, we're going to go uh, TBA on Sunday, so we'll kind of just see um, how the weekend plays out as far as what that's going to look like. Um, if we want to use Drew out of the pen, you know, in the first couple of days. Um, Walsh, you know, those type of things. So we'll, we'll see how that goes on Sunday. Yeah, and I would say in the pen, um, you know, maybe just shuffling some things around. I, I, you know, don't want to say specifically maybe who we might use, um, but I think you're still going to see the guys that you've seen for the most part at the in those those um, high leverage innings. I mean, the thing about it is, is you know, Perry's had a couple of tough outings in terms of um, hit them where they're not. I mean, we've had we've got beat on the shift a couple of times in the ninth inning, and that that hurts. Um, you know, he had a jam job. Um, ball in the ninth inning at, at uh, Rutgers that started the inning, at, you know. So that, but there's balls in play too, you know. So you also in the ninth inning you probably would like to see some more punch outs, you know, because then it doesn't have to be quite as perfect. So um, yeah, we'll 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 shuff, shuffle some things around. Those guys will still be in high leverage innings, um, and it may just be a fill thing. I mean, that's kind of how it's been for most of the year anyway. In the late innings, is what part of the lineup are they in, and, and who's feeling, you know, really confident on the mound. Mason, confident, I guess he's going Saturday. Yeah, Mason will go Saturday. And yep. he's just been terrific, hasn't he? He has, yeah. yeah. Mason's been great. Um, he's been um, very consistent at, at throwing the ball over the plate, you know, and he's had three pitches going for him, and um, so that helps with the left-handed hitters. And his the breaking ball plays against the lefties, too, um, and it's a tough at-bat, particularly against Rutgers. In their lineup, um, he had – he had a lot of, of uh, sink on his fastball, you know, so it was tough on his right-handed hitter. So in days like that, he's tough to hit, uh, but it, typically he's going to throw over the plate, you know, and so that's what's, mm -hmm. that's what's allowed him to be successful. How different is this Maryland team from the, the one last three years that's been a regional squad? Yeah, I mean, there, there's still some, some familiar faces. Obviously, Coach Swope has been there uh, with them. Um, but yeah, they, they had a lot to, to replace, obviously, um, from, from some of those teams, some of those guys that felt like were there for six years. Um, I think they some of them were, actually. Um, so they had some guys to replace, but they, they obviously still have some a lot of talent, and, and um, you know they're right there ready to make a move in, in league play. Well, completely unrelated to your team, but the uh, Board of Regents is going to be voting on alcohol sales yeah. at your home, uh, home venue tomorrow. Do yeah. you have an opinion on what you hope the resolution is? Um, I'm, I'm, my opinion is I just hope for whatever is going to be the best for fan experience and for Nebraska baseball. I mean, whatever that turns out to be, I'm great with um, anything that would enhance the fans' experience and, and also help out um, with our uh, bottom line would be would be great. Do you see that at the vast majority of places you go on the road, have people having the chance to have alcohol beverages? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You gotta have fun in baseball. I mean, I've been to your camps with my teams, and you tell them, "Hey, if you don't love baseball, don't come here because it's such a grind." So, with that said, you gotta have a little fun along the way. And Ben's mustache is rocking some things, and hopefully, getting some smiles on some guys. 
Yeah, there, there, there's been a couple of those that, that the guys have had throughout the years. I think Overbeek's now got a mohawk that he's rocking too. So there's some, some different parts of it, right? Sometimes you want to switch up some things here and there just because it switches up the mojo maybe. But yeah, there's baseball players are quirky by nature. And um, yeah, so there's you're always going to run into some of those things throughout the year. Are you guys going to have Ty available this weekend or what's kind of his? I'm is, sorry. Is Stone going to be available this oh, weekend? Oh, yeah. Um, He'll be available. Yeah. Obviously, you saw him hit a ball off the wall, and you know he he probably could have got to second base. It just it, that was the situation where we couldn't end the game sure. with him getting thrown out of second. Um, I saw the replay; he wasn't moving super fast, but he never really does anyway. Um, uh, but we'll we will see him at practice today, run the bases for the first time. So, um, I, my guess is he'll be he'll be available. Um, I'm hoping. And, and more than just a pinch hit appearance this weekend. How'd you see Brumbaugh come back to play defensively? And is that, is he good to go kind of moving forward? Did yeah. You like what you saw from him? Yeah, he, he's, he's handled his chance as well. He's turned a double play in there, I think, at Rutgers and um, didn't have a lot of chances um, the other night. But yeah, he's been fine. And, um, you know, it is what it is. I mean, he, he's got to manage it. He's, he's not really throwing on days that we don't have games. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I mean, he, he needs to save his bullets for the game and um, he feels good I mean it, it's probably more of a matter of him just getting out on the field again for the first time in six weeks I know he's been DHing but it's a little different when you're running on and off the field you're making throws um, you know I think he's probably dealing with the shoulder a little bit now again too besides just the the, the arm that he's been dealing with so um, he's a tough kid he wants to play he's been fine since he's been out there um, and, uh, you know, I expect he'll be good down the stretch. Well, I know you're all about the next game's the biggest game, but you guys are entering a stretch where you're home for this week and next week and, and a midweek in there as well. How important is this, I guess, week, week yeah. plus, uh, as you guys are approaching yeah. the final month of the regular season? Yeah, it's real important. Um, obviously, we need to get back on the right side of these close games. I mean, um, and that was the talk, you know, with our team and just in general when we are um, a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, we've, we've won a lot of those close games, and so we've played in a lot of them. Um, I think it is important because we just need to, we need to get that winning feeling back again, you know. Um, and we've had, we've had leads, we've scored first, we've done a lot of good things, but, um, you know, I just think just having some games where um, we make our own breaks, um, that tends to happen at home more than on the road, it seems like, and um, hopefully we'll have some great crowds here too that, that'll help. Where does Columbus kind of fit in to the lineup picture moving forward? Yeah. Kind of forced his way back in. Yeah, he's had great at bats. Um, he, he's forced his way, you know, into the lineup. And um, what he's done is he's handled left handers and right handers pretty well. Um, you know, he made a great play over there at first base the other night. Um, he's just a baseball player. I mean, we saw him do the same thing last year. Um, He's, you know, he's a guy coming into the season I really expected to, to be a major force in our lineup. Um, so this is not completely unexpected. Um, he just hasn't been real healthy this year, and he's feeling good now. And, um, you know, we're able to see him play first and catch now. And um, who knows, you might see him again in some other, other positions too. I just to, back to Maryland for a second. To win 23 straight Big Ten series, I know that streak ended this year, but what does it take to do that? I mean, how hard is that? And what do you need culturally to accomplish something like that? Yeah, I, you, obviously culturally you have to be used to winning, right? I mean, you have to have that that feeling that you're going to prevail, you know, every time you go out there. Um, ultimately, what it comes down to is is roster, though. You know, I mean, how do you have the guys? Does the lineup deep enough to go score? Is the is the uh, is the pitching you know strong enough to hold up on a Sunday? Um, do you have closer, you know, that can go finish. So that they. Those are things that they've had in spades, right? I mean, for the last several years that they've had the most talent, you know, probably up and down in the Big Ten, you know, and with that comes comes wins. So it's difficult to achieve. I mean, it's it's tough to win series. It's tough to win, period. Um, and to do that, you've got to you got to expect to win, and you've got to have um, the players that will, you know, when Sunday rolls around, it's time to go score runs. Can you go do that? You know, and you've got to have enough, good enough pitching to, to hold down the opponents um, on that third day too. Thanks, Coach.